before we begin, I have a public service announcement. This is for all the ladies out there that got a problem with baby hair. I'm going to say this before I start my video. Ma'am, I'm sorry if you were not blessed with the little hairs that grow onto your forehead. Ma'am, I apologize that the Lord did not bless you with the little hairs that grow onto your forehead. Ma'am, ma'am, I apologize that the Lord had you come out with your skull looking like this and your little hairs on your forehead did not grow in. But, as a side note, ma'am, some of our hair grow like this. We cannot help that our hair grows like this. We can only adjust to our hair growing like this. You don't got to do it. Different strokes for different folks. That's what people need to learn. You getting under a post and be like, that's the baby hairs. Okay, Miss Girl. <laughs> watching my channel if you are new here do not forget to like subscribe and comment if you are not new here welcome back i greatly appreciate you guys for coming back and watching yet another video with me if you have not subscribed and this is not your first video what are you waiting for this video is sponsored by we queen hair this is a new company that i am working with and you guys, wait till you see what all comes in here. It's a headband wig. But before I show you the wig, let me show you the little goodies that come inside this box. So first off, this is like the cutest little thing ever. Inside your box cap is a little message. And it just says affordable beginner friendly wigs, which this is a beginner friendly wig. Also in the box. Let's get into the wig straight out of the box. So this is the wig. All the information for this wig will be inside the description box. I'm not really sure which curl this is, but like I said, I will leave the description for it inside the description box. This is how the wig looks straight out of the box. Straight out. I haven't shampooed it or anything, which is definitely going to happen. But as for right now, I haven't shampooed it. It comes with the little headband strap, as we typically know, for the ones who do use headband wigs and what i like about this one is on top of the headband wig you do get the adjustable straps on the inside as well the previous headband wig i did it didn't have this but this one has let me get a little closer it has the two little adjustable wig straps as well as the combs on the inside let me move the band out the way so it gives you a more snug fit, which I like that. So let's see how this wig fits on my head. And as you guys seen from the beginning of this video with my little rent with baby hair, no, not everybody can have baby hair. Not all of us cannot have baby hair. Like we can't help it. But as for me, I like for my edges to be out with my little headband wigs. So I do leave my little hair out. Um, this is how it looks as soon as you put it on. You just put the combs in. I put my combs at the top first so I can get it adjusted so when I pull it down, it don't come out. I go ahead and I pull it down in the back. Hold it up. Get my straps. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. But I get my straps. 
and I hook them. And I like that the Velcro, Velcro goes across, so it's a little bit more snug. But this is, this is how it looks straight out. But y'all know, I can't get jiggy with this. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna shampoo this, and I'm gonna come back and show it to you guys wet. This is the wig, nice and clean. See, it's got a little bit more length on it. It's wet, so just dip it off a little bit. Don't go rubbing it all crazy. You just take your wig and you put it on. That's it. Slap it on real quick. So I'm gonna just my top first this find the point to where I want my headband to be get all the combs place the combs so that it gives you that good hold so it don't slide as much so I decided I want my combs up here as you can see it's not really going anywhere Then you pull it down in the back, place that comb, and voila. So next, we're gonna take our band, and I'm gonna use one of these headbands to hold up my hair so you can see how you can pull it down. And don't forget your straps in the bag if you feel like your wig is a little bit too loose. You can always adjust it with the little straps right here. So you can always adjust it, pull it down, pull it up, whatever. Just take your strap, your Velcro strap, cover that bad boy up. hair back down and that's all it is to it you can always comb it still and with this kind of hair again the bigger you the more you comb the bigger it gets especially as it dries If you see little stringly lines, like stringly hairs like this, this come further down as you wash it, you just cut them off. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's nothing to cry about, it's nothing to complain about. You can always cut it, I probably will. But you can do styles like a half up, half down. You could try your different headbands. I'm trying to burgundy with the green because I think it's kind of cute. I just like to play in it until it dries to see how things go. But as you can see with the with the baby hairs, it looks realistic. Like it looks like my real hair. And it's a wig. Pull it up to a high bun. Something really cute. And then you get home after the day is over with, and you just tired of wearing it. Boom! It's just that simple. Cap come off too. Everything coming out. 
Headband weaves are really good for people who are transitioning back to natural or to natural. They're good for people who don't like lace. Because I'm coming to find or coming to see that a lot of women do not like lace wigs. Which is fine. Your preference is your preference. But don't bash people who do. Don't bash people who wear baby hairs. You don't got to do it. Different strokes for different folks. That's what people need to learn. I need to oh. You like baby hairs? <laughs> huh? Yeah. You ain't got no choice, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. Put it on. For extra coverage, especially when I pull it up, I take my little my little bobby pins and I hook them in the back like this. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry if you can't. But I just take it, push it up, twist it a little bit, and then push it down to get a little hole. So that it doesn't move when I wear my updo. We queen. We queen. Because we are queens. Ma'am, when I tell you nobody's gonna know, if you apply it correctly and you can style it correctly, ma'am, nobody. Nobody is going to know. Like, nobody will know. To get the style that I had, like two rubber bands, two big ones, kinda. Flip my hair to the front. I take the rubber band. And I go behind it. And then I pull it back up. So it kind of looks like the pineapple kind of thing. And I take it and I fluff it up. I see how I'm looking in the front and the back. Pull it up some more. So now you take your headband. Now that everything is secure, and you place your headband over the little hairs that's sticking out. So now you take this back part and you pull it up a little bit. For my girls that like for it to hang, you can let it hang. And you just pull your bang to the side. It's not hard at all. You just adjust it to the spot that you want it to be in. Pull it down some. If you want it to be like a little high bun kinda, just push it up. Put your bobby pins in there to hold it. Hide these on the side if you want to tuck it up under your headband, you can. And voila, it's that simple. It's not hard at all. Not hard at all. The wig will slide, so you just make sure you want it, put it where you want it at. But it's just so easy. This is a cute style. Put your headband on. So ladies, shout out to We Queen for this lovely, lovely hair that mimics a lot of our hair patterns. You can't go on their website. Their website is in the description box below. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Look at that girl. Look at, oh, let me let it show y'all today. Let me show you guys the back. This is the back of it. Let's have a look in the back. Well, that's about it. That looks like people's boats. Okay. You just want to put it up.
I get so many secrets. It's so, it's, it's crazy how versatile that this one little wig can be. Like, it's amazing. And still look natural. Going up this down. So, ladies, go get this wig. So that was just a little quick video, simple video for this amazing headband wig. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you to We Queen Hair for this amazing hair, for this amazing video. Go shop with We Queen.